Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Monday. Beautiful out here this morning as I stand down at the south end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples. The water still looks great. Still looking great here. I couldn't resist the temptation of coming down to the beach this morning to check on things. Water's nice and clear down here. We'll see what it looks like as we get a little further north. The tide is on its way in here. Another hour and a half or so and it will be high tide. Look how calm it is. Look how flat that golf is out there this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. So last night, you watched my sunset video. When I came up into the park, the rangers had said the red tide had left. Now I didn't check for the sign this morning. But I don't smell anything out here. The only thing I smell out here this morning are still some dead fish that are on the beach. The park rangers did not make it down to this end of the beach, south of the boardwalk in Area 1. Very few people come down here to the beach, use this beach. So they focus their cleaning efforts to the north of the boardwalk over here in area one. So there are some dead fish still rotting on the beach down here. I don't see any fresh ones. And I don't see any dead fish floating out here in the water. So that's a good sign. Still picking up a few colors of that morning sunrise reflecting out there in the Gulf. It's looking south down the beach, down Vanderbilt Beach. It's pretty obvious where the park starts. It's where the condos end. Try to get by the hospital today and check on Roy. The hospital has asked that people back off on their visits for a little while so Roy can get his rest. We all love Roy, but there's, he's been getting so many visitors and he wants to be polite. You know how Roy is, so we won't shut his eyes when somebody shows up. So the hospital, they've asked that people kind of take a break from coming down there right now. good news about Roy, some good news is, from what I've heard, I haven't heard it from the doctor's mouth, but um, from what I've heard is that it looks like the antibiotics they're giving him might be working, and maybe he won't need surgery, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed and keep praying, keep prayer, Roy in our prayers. If anybody wants to send Roy a card, I've posted the address now several times on Facebook. 
look for the posting yesterday of the shell hanging on the tree. You'll find his address there. Well, what kind of shells do we have this morning? I'm not really being high, being that it's almost high tide. Most of the shells are out here in the water. But again, look how clear the water is. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. There's a little seagrass, a little seaweed coming up on the beach here, but I'll take that over dead fish any day. Keep in mind, just because it looks good here, doesn't mean we're out of the woods with the red tide or that the red tide isn't elsewhere. The red tide is definitely up to the north of us. Up in the Lee County area, those people are, have their hands full. It's a disaster up there between the red tide and the toxic blue algae. An absolute disaster. So we also want to keep those people in our thoughts and prayers. Look how flat that water is. It's almost like a mirror out there this morning. Check on some of our sea turtle nests up here. See if there was any activity overnight, any hatchings. Not on these nests. No, I don't see any signs of a hatching here. Or do I? What is that down there? Is that a raccoon digging? That's hard to tell here. That's fresh sand there. I don't see little footprints from any sea turtles down here. And if that was a hatching there, boy, they really missed. <laughs> they would never... Look at how far off that would have been. You know, the eggs were way over there, and if that was a hatching, wow. That looks like, <laughs> that's amazing. What nest number is this? I don't see a number on this one. That'll give us a, I don't see a number on this nest. Hmm, interesting. This one, I don't know, that might be 22. I'm just gonna walk up to area four beach and see what's what it looks like up there. Maybe we'll find some shells up there. That's usually where we get lucky and find some seashells up in area four. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. 
relatively clear skies. Some clouds out on the Gulf, way out there on the horizon. Look how flat. I'd rather have a nice breeze, a nice offshore breeze to keep blowing this red tide further and further away from us. That's what we need. We don't want it turning around and coming back. A couple more nests. That one's got a ways to go. 52 before hatching. Number 28. That one's getting closer. Closer to hatching time. The lower the numbers, the sooner they're going to hatch. I believe we still have 59 nests on the beach. I don't think there were any more crawls. But 59 is a record here for Del Norwegans for this mile stretch of beach at Del Norwegans. got over here. It's like some digging. Something happened over here. Nest number 25. Oh my god. This is a horrible sight. This is a horrible, horrible sight. Something, a dang raccoon got in. To this nest and killed all the little babies. There's little dead sea turtles all over the beach here. What happened? What happened? These poor babies. There's just dead little baby sea turtles all over the beach. What a shame. What a mess. That is so, so sad. A whole nest. How sad. Oh, I wonder what caused that. What would kill these little babies like that? You know, I don't think they might not have been fully developed or something and whatever dug into the nest. That is so sad. Look at all these little babies. Oh. That is heartbreaking to see that. You can see the nest down in there. Something got in there. Darn raccoon, I see raccoon tracks here. Those stupid raccoons. And these were so close to hatching. What a terrible, terrible sight. Oh, it's not red tide, it's a Blasted raccoon. Oh, you poor little babies. That's all little baby sea turtles. That is really sad. Oh. You can see their little Footprints where they were crawling around trying to make it to the water. But it just wasn't their time yet. Look how tiny and helpless these little guys are. Look at that. Oh. 
I don't think any of them made it to the water. Bless their little souls. Stupid raccoons. Darn them. You try to protect them with these cages, but it just doesn't work. What a terrible sight to see. We did have a successful hatching the other day, fortunately. We've had several already in the past few days. That is a terrible sight to see. It's always something. Mother Nature. You just never know what you're gonna find out here on the beaches. Something was scratching at this nest. These darn raccoons are getting pretty darn smart. I have to use smaller wire or something. Huh. This nest hatched several days ago, number 17. And another one just up ahead, number 18, hatched as well. What a horrible sight. Number 18, have a hatching there. Weather-wise, it's gorgeous out here this morning. Weather-wise, the water still looking beautiful. Just as beautiful as it was yesterday morning. Smooth as glass out here. raccoon tracks right there down on the beach this pesky little monsters come right out to the beach There is a huge grouper. What is that? What is that? That is a, sh look at that, a grouper right offshore here. A dead grouper, unfortunately. That is a big grouper. I don't know if it's alive. See, it's gills moving. I don't know if 
it's drifted in because of the red tide. They don't usually just lay here like this. I think it's, I hope it's not dead. That is a big grouper. Still evidence that there's red tide off the shore here. It is definitely dying. What a sad sight. What a sad sight. So sad. Another victim of the red tide. Even though it's not here right on this beach right now, it's still out there and there's proof of it. It's still out in the Gulf. It doesn't care what it kills. Sad. Sad, sad. It's going to be quite a while before we recover from the red tide. That was nest number 39 looking. No, no activity there. Something was digging in this nest too, number 56. It seems these raccoons are getting smarter and smarter. Digging at this nest too, raccoons have been digging at this nest, number 29. Man, hopefully the rangers will be able to figure out a better way to protect these little guys. That was heartbreaking seeing all those little dead sea turtles this morning. Look at this. Another nest destroyed by raccoons. Number 20. Those damn raccoons are everywhere now. You can see the eggs. These are some of the egg casings. Maybe, maybe they would get, we got lucky here. Maybe this, this nest, maybe it, it hatched and the raccoons just got into it afterwards because they can smell all that yucky stuff in there after they hatch. Let's hope that's the case. Let's hope that nest hatched overnight and those raccoons got in there afterwards. Man. And not too long ago, right here, where I'm at right now, right by this pine tree, this is where that barge was up on the beach for a week. How soon we forget, huh? That all that dredging that was going on up in Wiggins Pass. Some pelicans, a little formation of three pelicans flying by. Let's see if they come out. Well, one just dove in the water. <laughs> Which is a great sign seeing the pelicans out here fishing. 
Love to see a dolphin. There was a dolphin. They saw a dolphin swimming along the beach yesterday and a manatee swimming very, very close to the beach yesterday morning. The rangers saw him. I just saw a dolphin pop up way, way down there. I just saw a dolphin surface. Really far away from me. But there's definitely a dolphin out there playing. I can see it. Can't see it with the camera. It is way, way out there. I will zoom in as best I can. It was down in that area. I don't know where it's gonna come up next. Maybe we'll be able to see it. It's so flat. This came up several times out of the water out down there. There it is. I don't know if you could see it or not. Came up to the left. We should get in that big flat spot. It's kind of in the water with the little ripples. We haven't seen them here for a while. That is a wonderful sign. Dolphins and manatees. Where'd he go? I'm zoomed in as best I can. There, there's two of them out there. Wow. They're way out there. Maybe we'll get lucky and see them on the way back. That'd be, that's always fun to see a dolphin. Now the water's getting clearer. Maybe they'll come in closer to shore. Well, there's something positive. Where did you go? They're out past that marker there. Out in deeper water. Now let's keep going up the beach. Maybe they'll be heading up towards us. You never know. They just swim up and down the beach, especially this time in the morning. Looking for something to eat. We have a fisherman out here this morning. That is an awesome, awesome sight. Nest number 24. I believe this one hatched. I believe we had a hatching here, yeah. Now this is the nest that Jennifer Ann actually, she saw, she was out here at night one night and she saw the female loggerhead up here laying her eggs. She actually got to witness that. That is really cool. She, Jennifer Ann got to see that sea turtle. And then just to the north of me here, okay, we've had one nest hatch. We had three nests over here. One of them has hatched. One is gone. And that would have been this nest. There was a nest right back here. It looks like that has hatched. It was right in here. But I believe it was this nest. This is the one that Mark Nicoletti, the assistant park manager here, he got the video of this female loggerhead up on the beach. It was very very early in the morning just before seven and she was still on the beach which is unusual because they usually come in at night 
but he got video of that and I had shared that. He shared the video of her just finishing up and going back into the water. What a sight. Two awesome sights that I have never witnessed are the turtle, is the turtle nesting and the little hatchlings emerging. Yeah, I've never seen that. Either one of those, I'd love to see it. We had a, an emerging here the other morning while I was up at the north end of the park. There was one down at the south end of the beach in the daylight. Everybody got to watch those little turtles go into the water and swim away. There's another nest that looks like the darn raccoons got into up here. See, the park rangers are starting to make their rounds, so they're gonna be picking up those, all those little dead babies off the beach. Crap. Number 19. See raccoon paw prints around there. That's <clears throat> 30 and damn it, another nest. Nest 54, the damn raccoons got in this one. You can see all the broken eggs over here. What are we gonna do? They gotta come up with, they, they're getting under these cages, darn it. That is such a sad sight. I just heard a dolphin. I heard some, I swear I was looking, I heard a dolphin behind me. I heard, yep, I heard a puff out there. There's one, did you see him come up? There's two, one, two just surfaced right out there. There's three of them. There's one just ahead of them. I think they're making their way north up the beach here. There's one way offshore playing. There's two. One, two, one just came up right here. There's three right here. One, two over there, one over there. They're so spread out. There's three swimming around right offshore here. Area three. Where'd they go? They're, they're hanging out in the deeper water. I know it's probably impossible to see them. There's two out there, one out here. There's another one way out there for, they're having a good time jumping up and down, but they're really far out there. I wish they were closer. Boy, they're ch there's one chasing a fish. They're way out there. There's no way I can zoom in. I have no clue where they're, they're spread out all out here. Let's see if we can get lucky and See any of them out there? They're having a good time, that's for sure. Catching their morning breakfast. See if we see some swim in from the right out here. Now they've gone, there was one. You could see one. I know you saw that. There's another one. There's another one.
Come on, guys, come into the beach and say good morning. So I saw four dolphins so far. That's awesome. They're just a little too far out for the iPhone to capture them well. They were very active here for just a few minutes. Unless they run it, ran into a school of fish. They were kind of jumping out of the water out there. There was one. Did you see it? Now they're moving this way. Moving north. There he is. I'm sure you can see that. You know it's pretty far away. Where'd you go? There he is over to the right. There he was again. So cool. There's some more. There's a little pot of them. I believe I counted four. There was two just came up. <clears throat> what a nice change, huh? Last Thursday when I was out here, it was disgusting. The water was almost black. Now it's beautiful blue and we've got dolphins. Whoa, boy, he just shot a big blast of water out of his blowhole there. Wow. How cool. A little family of dolphins. Oop, there's one a little closer over here. Are they gonna make their way into shore? Nice and flat out there. Two out there. Oop. Just came up right on the edge, right to the on the edge of the camera, darn it. No way of predicting where they're gonna pop up. A lot of times I can see a little pattern in the water where they're swimming. I cannot see that. They're a little too far away for me to see that right now. They are definitely out there having a good time chasing fish around. I was hoping one would come charging in. great sight to see. What a great sight to see, dolphins. They're still out there swimming around. Hallelujah. Let's see our park rangers are down behind me, down to the south, checking out that sea turtle nest that the raccoons got into. Getting up into area four now. How are you doing? Good morning, how are you? Good. Well, there's a lot of little shells piled up along the beach here. A lot of them. I just don't have the time to go digging through them here this morning. 
my main goal was to come out and just really see the condition, check the conditions of the water. <clears throat> still a little hard to see because the sun hasn't made it up over the trees here, but that water is still nice and clear, just like yesterday. And we do, we do have dolphins. Now they're, they're making their way back down the beach. They're down in that area. The dolphins are down there playing. Playing, chasing fish. Maybe they'll turn around and come back, at, at back up towards us again. Still seeing some dead horseshoe crabs on the beach. Sadly. Lots of shells down here. Lots and lots of shells. Beautiful morning here. Weather-wise, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Loving it here, absolutely loving it. I gotta take a picture of this just to post a little later. Gorgeous. I love my beach at Del Nor Wiggins. I'm guessing we're probably an hour away from high tide now. I'm just gonna go a little further north to that next little spit of sand, that little spit of beach sticking out up there before I turn around and walk back. Most of the shells are in the water right now. There are these little clusters of these little clumps of shells on the beach. We were checking them out yesterday. I'm sure there's still some great little finds buried in there. Each time the tide comes in, it shuffles them around a little bit and exposes some new stuff. And People walking on them. We've been seeing some really nice slipper shells. Really nice slipper shells. That's a beautiful slipper shell right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Flip it over. That's why it's called a slipper shell. Yeah, it's like the little slipper. We've seen a lot of these on the beach.
seen a lot of oyster shells too. A lot of oyster shells. These must have come up from the dredging. Look at the pink on that oyster shell there. I don't know if you can see it. Get some light on it. Scallop shell, part of a scallop shell. Little mossy arc shell, a mossy arc. Still got some nice piles of shells here along the beach. If anybody wants to come down and do a little shelling, bring a little rake so you can sift through them. Makes it a lot easier. Nice little worm tip. of a tulip shell almost a whole tulip shell a banded tulip a little turkey wing shell well if you're just joining we have good news and bad news the water is definitely clearing up here. Really starting to look nice. And bad news, so there's still red tide out in the Gulf and there's still red tide and that toxic blue-green algae to the north of us. So we're not out of the woods. Other bad news is the raccoons have been getting into our little sea turtle nests here. That's not a good thing. They've been des they've destroyed a couple of the nests. We saw a really sad sight earlier this morning. We saw some, a whole bunch of little dead sea turtles that the raccoons got. That was terrible. I think it was just a little too early for them to hatch, and the raccoons got in and they got them out of their out of their nest, out of their eggs, and they were trying to go for the water, but they couldn't make it because they weren't fully 100% developed. They probably only had a few more days to go. Very sad sight. Then we saw what looked like a, a pretty good sized grouper, probably dying just offshore, just along the beach because of the red tide. And it's washed, it got washed into the beach here. But then on a brighter side, we saw a whole family of dolphins playing offshore. That was a wonderful sight, seeing the dolphins. So, you gotta take the bad with the good, I guess. There's a beautiful little olive shell down here, and right next to it, a beautiful little lace murex shell. A little piece of seagrass on the murex. Get it out of my hand. Look at that. Two beautiful little shells, just side by side. An apple murex, or an apple murex, a lace murex, and an olive shell. The murex on the left, the olive shell on the right. Nice little olive, it has its tip on it. Usually that little tip's broken off. And there's that murex. Two nice little keepers. A lace murex and an olive shell. And they were just literally touching each other side by side here.
I usually, it's very seldom do I go home without something in my pocket. <laughs> Much to my wife's dismay. There's another little turkey wing down here. Those are so cool, the turkey wings. You definitely, definitely figure out why they call it a turkey wing. <laughs> this is where we were watching the sunset, last night's sunset from out here. Remember, this was all exposed. I was, there was all sand out here last night at low tide. Big difference between now and then. I'm seeing lots of turkey wing shells down here along the beach. This is area four beach. You hear all the birds out there on the sandbar. They're starting to show up. They like hanging out out there. Give them their space, don't get too close to them. Boy, lots of shells here. Lots of them. I know there's some goodies. Goodies buried in there. Here we are up in area four. Once again, I call this Roy's Beach. Beautiful out here this morning, absolutely beautiful. How can you not love this place? Look at that water down there. Now there's a big, there's a skimmer over there. If I can zoom into these birds. That darker one there, that's a skimmer. Skimmer with some royal turns behind it. The skimmer right in the middle. Great to see the birds. Absolutely wonderful to see the birds out here. Seagulls, terns, one skimmer there, that bright orange beak. That darker bird there on the right. Cool. Beautiful as we look to the north here. Absolutely gorgeous. I got one more quick photo, hang tight. Start walking.
him back down the beach. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good. Um, he's getting better. I mean, we're hoping. Well, you got flesh eating bacteria. And he's been going in with, you know, cutting himself and going in the water. And so he's, they're pumping him full of antibiotics. His leg is a mess all. So hopefully they won't, the next, if the antibiotics don't work, the next thing they're going to do would be go and scrape, try to scrape it out. I think that's going to be the worst. I mean, there was a point there where. The, uh, the option was cut his leg off oh when they first God. saw him, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Holy I think we're that's not a plan now. But. No, because I, I was here like a week ago last Friday. Mm -hmm. He's in the water. Yep, he just doesn't listen to people. No, he doesn't listen to people. And all. even you know, and he doesn't shower when he gets out of the water. Yep. Yeah. You know, you gotta wash off. Oh gosh, yeah. I, I mean, figured that's a, I figured he thinks that's a shower for the day. Or <laughs> no, oh. he goes he goes home and takes a shower, yeah, but yeah. it's too late yeah. by then, you yeah. know. So I think he learned his lesson. I hope so. I don't know. He's tough. <laughs> yeah, he's stubborn. Yeah, well, Not he's, tough. He's I stubborn. Didn't know Lynn told me. Uh, you know Lynn. Uh huh. Tough, yeah. Yep. Yeah, they. I don't know who found him. If Lynn found him. Or... Yeah, I don't know what that was about. And, and I, you know, well, you know how it changes clothes? Yeah. So that, oh, yeah. That been, you know. I mean, I, I see him. They've asked people to stop coming to see him because oh, he's getting imagine. so many people yeah. and he's yeah. in ICU and yeah. they want him to get his rest. Right, right. So. Well, but he's not going anywhere. Yeah. He's going to be around for a long he's, time. He's on race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right, Ann. <laughs> yep. Did you see the dolphins out there this morning? Yeah, I just saw them. Yeah. Oh, are they back up here? I just saw them. I, I think they're right out here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're right out here. They came up. Yep. They're swimming up the beach here. Yeah. See if we see them pop up. There's, I see the, one of their fins. Yeah. You can just see them popping up out here, making their way north. You saw them down there. There's one, two, three, at least three. How neat is that? Our beach is coming back. <laughs> yep. Where'd you go? Oh, they're getting further up the beach here. Keep your eyes open there. Look out by that white buoy out there. And we'll see them pop up again real quick. Where'd just go? They're moving pretty fast. Oh, not quite to the buoy. Now they're out behind the buoy. Maybe we'll see them. They're very hard to see. They're they're coming up, but the lighting right now. Oh, there's. They're really spread out. Very, very spread out. Three or four dolphins. Swimming up the beach, way back there. Now there's two of them are way up here. And there's two back here playing. Playing around in the water. Out behind that white buoy out there. But again, they're really far out and hard to see. But they're here. That's the good news, the dolphins. I haven't seen dolphins in a while with that dredging and then the red tide. I don't know where you went. Definitely saw them earlier this morning. Great sight to see dolphins, always great to see dolphins in the morning. I say you're going to have a great day when you spot dolphins. They're a good luck charm. Look at all the little sandpipers taking off there.
lots of great, lots of little shells here. Nothing is just jumping out at me. I'm moving kind of quick here this morning. I got things to do. But I mainly, I wanted to come out here and see what condition the water was in, share that with everybody. Because yesterday it was so beautiful. Looks like it's still holding. Still got some beautiful colors there. Getting back to our beautiful blue greens. Blues and greens. little pile of shells nobody's even started sifting through them yet hmm you see how they just kind of pile up in clumps along the beach I think the dolphins have moved to the north. I don't think they're going to be back down. But early in the morning, you can usually spot them swimming offshore back and forth oh, for about a half an hour. Usually, they start swimming out there just after sunrise. A lot of times, you'll find them up in Wiggins Pass. And now that that dredging is, operation has ended, I'm sure... You'll be able to spot the dolphins up in the pass in the morning chasing the fish. Look at these piles of shells. It does not look like many people have been out here yet sifting through them. Tide is still coming in here. We're almost at high tide. It's kind of hard to walk here. Beautiful, beautiful looking back at the beach here. Beautiful view, isn't that beautiful? I'm out here in the water, beautiful colors. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is, this is the south end of area four looking north at Del Norwegans Pass in North Naples, Florida. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful Monday morning. A mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. No homes or condos along the beach. 
can see where the park ends down here to the, to the south, ends down where those condominiums begin. Absolutely gorgeous. A gorgeous Monday morning. Our water is definitely clearing up here. Not out of the woods yet with that red tide. It's still lingering out there. Still very bad to the north of us up in Fort Myers, the Fort Myers area. Sanibel, even all the way up to Sarasota. There's a nice little fighting conch shell. Florida fighting conch. Pretty common shell here on our the be on the beaches of Southwest Florida, and we always make sure there's nothing inside a shell if we take it home. Make sure there's no living animal, not necessarily just the conch. Other little sea critters take shelter in these empty shells. Hermit crabs. We found an octopus in one of these one day. A little baby octopus hiding out in one of these shells, and it actually bit Roy. <laughs> His hand stung for about a half hour. A little baby octopus we found one day in one of these. Lots of beautiful little shells on the beach. Lots of these beautiful little cockle shells out here. We've been seeing a lot of cockle shells lately. Gorgeous. We've been seeing a lot of slipper shells. Lots of slipper shells, all different sizes. Got to stop and really look close. As you're looking, things will just start popping out. The more you look, the more you're going to find. There's another nice, nice little olive shell. Beautiful little olive shell. slipper shells right there. I was looking for a little bigger one, but the slipper shell, see how it looks like the little slipper? There's a, there's a kitten paw. That's a nice little kitten paw, some nice colors. Gallop shell just catching some light over here, right on the edge of the light. A little piece of a scallop. We're getting into the shadows here of the pine trees, so harder to see the shells along the shoreline. seen any new sea turtle nests on the beach any new any crawls they're up to 59 nests but the raccoons have gotten into so many of them the darn raccoons are starting to get in and figure out how to get under these cages now they're outsmarting us Here you can see digging going on here that's almost what it looks like when the, an emerging happens that little hole there 
And that's number 34. I don't know. It seems a little early for that one to hatch. This other nest up here on the dunes. I don't know what number that was, but something definitely got into that because we can see all the broken egg casings. All that white stuff, that's broken sea turtle egg casing. So a darn raccoon got into there. Another one. Got into this nest over here, 36. Well, oh, that is terrible. More dead little baby sea turtles down here. Damn raccoons. Sadly, you can see some little hatchlings that didn't make it, <clears throat> that didn't fully develop down here that the darn sea turtles got. That is such a sad sight. This is the second one of these we've seen today. That is such a terrible, terrible sight. Horrible to see that. Again, the raccoons. This is the second nest that we've seen like this this morning. Poor little undeveloped babies there. That is so, so sad. What a sad sight. This is the second nest that we definitely saw this darn raccoons have gotten into. Nest number 36. Ugh. That is terrible. Absolutely horrible. We try to protect them, but these raccoons are seem they seem to be getting smarter for some reason getting under these cages. Terrible. Ugh, such a sad sight. We see the beautiful dolphins swimming offshore and then we see these poor little dead babies. Terrible. They got enough problems without having to deal with those stupid raccoons, man. Let's hope some of these nests survive. We have had some successful hatchings. It's not all gloom and doom. But with the red tide here, we we're just hoping we were gonna have a little better nest. We have a, we've had a record breaking number of nests on the beach. That's good news, 59. Now we're starting to lose the darn things. Lost a couple because of high tides. And this were underwater too long. And the good news is we saw some dolphins swimming out there this morning. And the water's still looking gorgeous out here. Still looking gorgeous. We did have a hatching over here. There were three nests right in that little group. One has hatched. That's good news. Let's see our park ranger looking at that. I probably look checking that grouper out in the water that we saw earlier this morning. That was a sad sight. 
there's a grouper that's been carried into shore by the tide that was out in the gulf there and it didn't look like it was quite dead but it's definitely succumbing to the red tide it was horrible it was like comatose in the water it was a pretty good sized grouper you don't normally see grouper along the beach here so that just proves that the red tide is still out there in the gulf it's just not right here along the shore right now sad that's what she's up here looking at between the little dead baby sea turtles and this dead grouper just gotta think positive it is getting better for us at least in Naples here not for the poor folks to the north of us See that grouper right out here in the water. Such a sad sight. Sad sight. Sad sight. Yeah, but it's on its way out. His eyeballs were all Yeah, all cloudy. That was a nice fish too. That was a beautiful fish. How sad. That sucked, that nest down there. There's another one up there. Uh, yeah, unfortunately 65 lost souls were taken last night from that nest. 65 is how many you picked up? Yeah, oh. yeah. Uh, he swam out a little while ago and came back. But yeah, there's another one. There, there's like four nests the raccoons got into last night. Unfortunately, between the red tide and this time of the year being slow, their food resources are, done, are gone. Uh, so they're getting desperate by going for turtles right now. Uh, so, what's happening Sad right to see that. So it sad. Is. It is. Now, somebody told me I was up in Area 5, and a lady said there was a hatching yesterday morning. I said, yeah, I said at Wiggins. She said, yeah, but I was it on Vanderbilt. It was on the county line. Yeah. Um, it was determined as a false crawl, so we can't make it a nest. Once oh it's no, determined. she said there was an emerging. Yeah, it. They hatched, and not a lot of them didn't make it though. Oh really? Was it too early or? Raccoons got to it a little. Bit. Oh. So. Uh. Yeah. That's darn raccoons. Mother Nature has it in for us this yes. year. <laughs> oh, Lord. It'll get better. At least the water is getting clearer. Yeah. It's so sad seeing a sight like this, though. Yeah. I think, I think she is. Roy's doing... I, I think the antibiotics are going to work. So that's the best news. <laughs> that's the best news he could hope for. But he said he's always going to wear shoes at the beach. And he's not going to go swimming. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, see you later, Rosa. But we're just sadly watching this poor grouper. Succumbing to the red tide. What, a fan, I, what can you do? So sad. Mother Nature seems so cruel. You can only hope that maybe being inshore here and this water that's a little cleaner, maybe it'll filter the red tide out of its system. But I don't think it works like that. That's sad. I wish it was the case. But he is washed in from out in the Gulf. He's just clinging to life right there. Such a sad sight. 
We've seen some sad things this morning on this beach walk. And we've seen some beautiful things. As our friend Roy always says, think positive. Think about the positive things. Sixty-five little sea turtles lost in that one nest uh, that we saw early this morning. Gorgeous out here though, look at that gulf. Look how flat it is out there. Beautiful colors. Absolutely gorgeous. So we look to the north here. It's been a while since we've had a view like this. Just last, just last week, this water was a horrible horrible muddy brown color. Now it's finally clearing. Getting back to its blues and greens. Still a little ways to go, but let's keep our fingers crossed that we're on the recovery side of this last bout with red tide. Well, I miss seeing Roy out here. Definitely takes something away from our beach walks in the morning, but he's where he needs to be right now. And I think things are looking a little better for him. All we can do is pray. Back down to Area 1 Beach. Back down where we started, almost where we started. We started all the way down, at, almost at the very end of the beach, just a couple hundred feet shy of the very south end of the beach. And as you can see, water conditions are definitely improving here.
Still not out of the woods by any means. The winds can turn around and just blow that darn red algae bloom right back up on the beach. So let's pray that doesn't happen again. Let's pray the winds keep coming from onshore. Keep blowing that red algae back out into the Gulf. Away from our beaches. down in area one now. Here's a, a little dead fish washing up on the beach. So that goes to show that that red algae is still out there. Just because it's not right here up along our shoreline doesn't mean it's out there. This is where I came in here, up on this boardwalk up over here. And just a little information for everybody if you're coming to Delnor Wiggins. This is the boardwalk in area one, right, in the, right up by the first parking spots in the first parking lot. The rangers did not pick up any of the dead fish south of this point here along the beach between Vanderbilt and up here. So, pretty stinky down there you can still smell the dead fish you know it has a fishy smell on the beach pretty much everywhere but it's not like overpowering like it was a week ago so I see somebody out there swimming if you do go in the water please 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 wash off it's a good idea bring some soap with you too use a little soap in the showers there you know, an envir environment friendly soap. They're just beautiful colors out here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Here comes a jet ski zipping up by one of the rental companies on taking their jet ski to work. <laughs> Staying just on the other side of the markers there. And aren't those blues just absolutely gorgeous this morning? Sandpiper down here. Hopefully the conditions will just start improving a little bit every day here. These beautiful colors there. Well, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me this morning. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. Make sure you're gonna find something you like, something you wanna share with your friends. Have a great Monday.
For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.